Let's worship today. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change, He faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways Leads to a joyful end Be still, my soul Thy God doth undertake To guide the future As He has the past Thy hope, thy confidence, let nothing shake. All now mysterious shall be bright at last. Be still, my soul, the waves and winds still know. His voice who ruled them while he dwelt below. Be still, my soul, the hour is hastening on when we shall be. Forever with the Lord When disappointment, grief and fear are gone Sorrow for God Love's purest joys restore Be still my soul when change and tears are past, all safe and blessed, we shall meet at last. Take a few moments, search your heart. Consider why you came today to this place, to the feet of Jesus. And what is hindering you now? Just tell it to Him. His burden is light, His yoke is easy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide in every change. He faithful will remain. Be still, my 
soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. Our Psalms for today, Psalm 97 and 99. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgment, O Lord. For you are the Lord, most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Psalm 99. The Lord is king. Let the people tremble. He is enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion, he is high above all peoples. Let them confess his name, which is great and awesome. He is the Holy One. O mighty King, lover of justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and fall down before his footstool. He is the Holy One. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the decree that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them indeed. You were a God who forgave them yet punished them for their evil deeds. Proclaim the greatness of the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is the Holy One. You bring justice, equity, where there is none, where there is none. You bring it, Lord. Your judgments are true. You are the great judge, Lord. You do what is right. Every time, every time, every time Glory to the Father and to the Son And to the Holy Spirit As it was in the beginning Is now And will be forever Amen Our gospel reading today, this season after Pentecost, proper 28 Tuesday, Luke 17, 1 through 10. Jesus said to his disciples, occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to anyone by whom they come. It would be better for you if a millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea than for you to cause one of these little ones to stumble. Be on your guard. If another disciple sins, you must rebuke the offender. If there is repentance, you must forgive. And if the same person sins against you seven times a day and turns back to you seven times and said, I repent, you must forgive. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your slave who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here at once and take your place at the table? 
Would you not rather say to him, Prepare supper for me, put on your apron, and serve me while I eat and drink? Later you may eat and drink. Do you thank the slave for doing what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were ordered to do, say, We are worthless slaves. We have done only what we ought to have done. Oh, teach us, Holy Spirit. Teach us what your word says, what it means, God. Word of the Lord, thanks be to God, the Word of the Lord. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We forgive, Lord, as we are forgiven. We forgive, Lord, even as we are forgiven. Oh, yes, measure upon measure poured out. And we pour it out. It is the season after Pentecost, proper 28, ordinary time in the church calendar. In our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And give space and time here for you to pray specifically for those in your life, to pray for your own heart, own burdens. The scripture says, come boldly before the throne of grace. He welcomes you. Bring those needs. Right now, just open your heart, your mind, and your ears to whoever the Lord lays on you that needs prayer this morning. Maybe someone who doesn't have anyone else to pray for them. You are the person today. You can pray for your friend, friends, family, co-workers, acquaintances, enemies. Pray for our enemies as Jesus told us to do. pray uh, this morning for those that have something that seems so out of reach that you've waited for for a long time that could be healing in your body or your mind your emotions it could be some dream a business or 
livelihood. It could be a family or a mate, a spouse. Whatever it is this morning, if you've been waiting for what seems like years or literally years, I just want to pray for you. Lord Jesus, touch these who have waited on you. Lord, I just pray that these things will come to pass. They will see them in the land of the living God. That they will see that this entire time you are not withholding, you are waiting for due season and fullness of time. For the perfect time. Their waiting has produced perseverance, and they are different because of it, not in frustration or disappointment, but in fulfillment. You are the one who fulfills your promises. You never go back on your word, God. So this morning, I ask you that even in this season of expectation that is coming up, Advent, that there would be time, that there would be fulfillment of the visions and dreams that you have given those who are a part of this time this morning. In the name of Jesus, amen. Give a few more moments. your promises God you fulfill your promises it will come to pass it will come to pass you bring it to pass Lord thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. You are the embodiment of His promise. Walk it out. Live it out. Let it spill out to all those around you today.